What has your recipient been here for that they might have missed out on if they had not had transplant? Since the transplant, Vicki's, because she's had the transplant, Vicki's been around to see her grandkids grow up. Uh, she's seen them grow, uh, graduate. She's seen one, learn, two of them now learn to drive. She's been to Hawaii, which was one of her dreams, which nine of us went and had a great time. She is enjoying life and to its fullest. And I think the, be the most important thing is, is her grandkids. She's get able to spend time with them. Um, currently, we still pick them up from school and we get the, just that bond is, is, is unimaginable. You can't, you can't change that. You can't, you know, it's just great. Well, unfortunately, we don't have a grandchild yet, so that hasn't happened. Gosh. Um, he's doing the things that he used to do, you know, and he's happy, and I don't think... I don't think he's missing anything now, you know? And uh, we're waiting to have a grandchild, that's all. <laughs> if Greg had not been transplanted, if my husband had not been transplanted, we would not have had our 39th wedding anniversary that we just celebrated um, in, in May. Um, he, had, he would have missed his 52nd birthday party, which is kind of an inside joke. He really turned 63, but we feel like he got a, got a demotion on the age scale by the tra transplant. Um, he just would have missed enjoying our, our life that we have together. We're hoping to do some more traveling together, so I'm excited about that. We kind of have a trip planned for next year. Um, yeah. What has my husband been here for that he would have missed? Well, he would have missed my love. Um, his Porsche. <laughs> I bought him a Porsche when he survived because that was his dream in life. And I figured life seems a little short these days, so you can have your car. Um, but seriously, um, Daryl is an amazing person. He's a real gift to this world um, in so many ways and is loved by everyone that meets him. So I think there would have been a lot of people, not just me, that were highly distressed to lose his friendship, his camaraderie, his guidance as an employer, um, just Daryl in general. Well, Michelle's been able to uh, because her transplant so successful, see her nieces get married and um, all kinds of trips, life trip uh, to Egypt and bike trips and really has been enjoying life. And the doctor told her that's what this was for. Go live it. <laughs> she has. If my mom didn't get her lung transplant, she would have missed out on a lot. She lives for her family and for her grandchildren. At the time she transplanted, she had four, and today she has six, one of which is mine. Um, her transplant was in February of 2010. In April of 2010, she kicked me out. I had been staying with her and my dad at their house because it was just easier for us all to be in the same place. And she said, okay, you need to go back home now and go find yourself a husband. And two weeks later, I met my husband. So we all would have missed out had she not had her transplant. Well, she had, if she had not gotten, gotten the transplant, it was very obvious uh, that uh, the alternative was unacceptable. And uh, that she might not be with me today if she hadn't gotten that transplant. So there are individuals I, I see who, after getting the transplant, sometimes forget how lucky they are that they were selected for the program and were able to find a match and, and, and accomplish the transplant. And that's something that can never be forgotten. It's, it's going to be tough. You have to change your, your lifestyle. You have to change your way of thinking. You, you may change your, your social 
techniques or whatever it might be, but to live and to prosper uh, is the ultimate objective, so you do whatever you need to do. And to me, to observe that, that's my reward. I wouldn't ask for any more. When my husband was diagnosed, I asked him what he wanted to do. Not to have a morbid question, but what would he want to do um, while he could, because I knew he was going to get sick and I knew that he would be missing out on things in life. So what was important? And what we ended up doing, we have four children, and we ended up taking them on a cruise to Europe last summer, which was absolutely the best thing we could have done. It was very hard for him. He was very sick at that point, and the kids just jumped in and pushed him around in wheelchairs, and we just had a wonderful time, just a bonding experience. Uh, if Rudy wouldn't have received his transplant, we would have missed, he would have missed out on so much. You know, family is so important to us that any moment we can get with each other is a great thing. We gave Rudy a surprise birthday party. He never even had one throughout his whole childhood, so by far he said that was the best thing that could have happened. So when we have three beautiful daughters and not married yet, still waiting, hello, <laughs> but uh, many, many events to come. And like I said, um, even though this has been so, it's been very stressful and worrisome at times, but throughout all this stress, there's just so much joy in life that every day, it's great. Every day is great. Oh, if my husband didn't get a lung transplant, I think there are many things he would miss. You know, right now, I think uh, he's able to um, go see his grandchildren's baseball games and sporting events and just seeing them grow up and just living, you know, we're senior citizens and so we still have a lot, a lot we can do. So I think it's just, you know, we wouldn't have be able to do a lot of things if he hadn't had it. And as time was going on, he was, we were able to do less and less and he was starting to come to grips with that. You know, we were starting to pass up things, little invitations to do things because it just wouldn't be the right, the right decision. But now I think, you know, eventually as he recovers more, after the first you know, few months, it'll, everything will get easier as well. Oh, he would have missed, if Tom had not, not had transplant, he would have missed watching our grandchildren play sports and he would have missed going on long vacations and he had missed the dance and that's important. It's really important and he would have missed it all had he not had the opportunity to be given a second chance and to work hard to make the second chance work because it does take a lot of hard work, a lot of commitment on his part and my part. We had to commit to each other to get us, get him through it and he had to commit to work hard and he did and it's all been worthwhile. <laughs>